welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. And for those wondering why we are back on this uh, lovely Unreal Engine menu, we are going to be doing something new. Well, I say new, it's actually old. It's like a reboot. We're rebooting the FPS series for 5.2. This is, as far as I'm aware, the first 5.2 series for an FPS. So hopefully this will be relevant to a lot of you. And, um, Without further ado, let's begin. Now, obviously, there's going to be a hell of a lot of similarities to our Haven project in 5.0.3, but hopefully uh, there'll be a lot of new things because obviously we have a lot of deprecated um, items and objects and uh, BPs within 5.2 that are no longer available. Uh, so things like inputs, um, we obviously explored a little bit of this in the Ringmon series, the Capture Creature series. Um, and of course, there'll be a lot of things like blend spaces have been deprecated and or they've, they've gone to legacy, whatever the hell Unreal calls it these days. So once I get uh, 5.2 uh, opened, I will be back. Okay, so now that 5.2 is open, we can set up a new project. I am going to call this uh, 5.2. FPS tutorial um, and as always if you've watched the previous FPS tutorial you know I always make the true FPS um, with the third person template that way we get the body animations available to us uh, obviously I'm gonna be creating this in blueprint it's gonna be a desktop target we're gonna add in ray tracing why not we want to be fancy and um, oh, I've got to pick a new file folder I'm gonna pick my D folder. Oh, so I'm going to call this uh, FPS tutorial uh, uh, 5.2. Oh, I can't have a um, 5 2, 5 2. Can I call it 52? <laughs> God's sake. 52. FPS tutorial 52. It's not a 52, 50 second tutorial, it's just a 5.2. There should be a point in there, it won't let us do that. But anyway, once the project's created, I will be back. Okay, so once your project opens, you'll be met with the usual uh, Unreal Engine 5 setup. Um, if I press play, obviously we get to run around and jump uh, straight out of the box. Uh, this is usual with any third person template and uh, gets you normally started pretty quickly. So what we want to do is, if you go into the content drawer, find third person folder, find the blueprints and open up the third person character, you'll be met with this. Obviously, if you go into the event graph, you've got the usual, well, the new 5.1 onwards um, input mapping setup, but we'll be looking at down the line. For now, what we want to do is get the camera set up into that true first person style. So first things first, bring the camera forward a bit and move it up and what we want to do is take that follow camera and parent it to the mesh on the left hand side um, with that in place what we also want to do is if we click onto the follower camera on the right hand side you have sockets and you have parent socket if we hit the little folder icon we can go down and click on head now this will move this over here so you will have to kind of rejig it to be in the kind of correct place but uh, that should be relatively easy to do. Um, move it that way. Mm, that looks about right. Uh, no, it's not. I, I'm going to um, get rid of these grid formations so I can better place it. There we go. That looks a lot better. Okay. So with the follow camera selected, um, there's two more things we need to do before it's going to work. The first one of those things is we need to click on use pawn control rotation set that to true and if we click on the bp third person character and we just type in controller uh, you get a use controller rotation your set that to true as well and compile and when we go back into it we should be able to now control our character and look around separately so we can move left right back and forth you know and still look around as um, how we please. So this is like your, as I say, this is your true uh, first person camera kind of setup. 
Um, hopefully this has been useful. Again, if you've already seen our original FPS tutorial series, there'll be nothing new at the moment, but I have got a few things different this time around from the original that I'm going to be exploring, um, and we're just going to sort of see how we get on. Um, but hopefully you found this useful. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do. It helps the channel out and you can always change your mind down the line. And for everyone else who's already been here before, I will see you in the next episode. Much love. Take care. Bye.